Few things in life are as comforting as a mug of hot chocolate on a cold day. Few things are as disappointing as that gross layer on top. Here's the science behind it and how to stop it. Fat content. Hot chocolate is often made with milk, which contains fat. When the hot chocolate starts to cool, the fat starts to separate from the liquid because fat and water don't generally mix, especially at lower temperatures. Fat rises to the surface because also fat is less dense than water. Proteins. Milk also contains proteins like casein, which can form bonds with fat molecules as the mixture cools. These proteins form a network that traps the fat, creating that thin layer we see. Temperature. The surface of the hot chocolate is exposed to air, so it cools faster than the liquid underneath. As we talked about, the fat and the proteins at the surface will start to solidify slightly, forming that gross film that none of us like. Cocoa solids. If you use cocoa powder, the right way to do it. Some of the insoluble cocoa solids will contribute to the film, especially if you're not stirring your drink frequently. These solids can clump together and rise to the surface. Again, a gross film. So how can we minimize the film? Whisking. Stir continuously to keep the fats and proteins mixed. Add emulsifiers. Emulsifiers like marshmallows and whipped cream help stabilize the mixture. Lastly, serve hot. As we talked about, the film forms more easily at lower temperatures. So this winter, let the cocoa flow and the smiles grow? Who the heck wrote this? <laughs>